السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز پیرنٹس اینڈ دا کینڈیڈیٹس آف کمپٹیٹیو ایگزامس مائی نیم از محمد اسماعیل کالو اینڈ یو آر واچنگ انگلش فار سی ایس ایس اینڈ پی ایم ایس یوٹیوب چینل آر ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ویری امپارٹنٹ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا نیچر آف کمپٹیٹیو ایگزامس اینڈ ریگولر exams as well regular exams means the exams which are conducted in your university college or school etc <clears throat> as you have come to know from the thumbnail of this lecture that our today's topic is past continuous tense Okay, so first of all, we will define what is past continuous tense. The very first thing that tells us from its own title is past. Past means a time that has happened, that has passed, that has gone. okay or something that has happened in the time that has gone not now not yet to come okay when we talk about past continuous tense it means we are in the mid of any action of the past any action of the past when we talk about past continuous tense it means we are talking about something that was happening in the past the action was not completed yet our uh, action was in progress means we were middle or we were mid in the action okay now i am going to give you some examples which will help you a lot to understand that concept that we were in the middle or in the mid of any action in the past when an action was in process it was not completed it has already been started okay so examples are here you can say that i was talking to tom i was talking to tom means you are in the process or you were you were in the mid of your conversation with the tom your conversation was not completed but your conversation was in progress next example is i was going to my school means the action of going was not completed it was in progress it was continuous so you were in the mid of your action of going to school if you want to learn the structure of tense so i have already uploaded a video lecture on this very youtube channel about the structure of this tense today i'm here to give you this lecture for an advanced level in which you will learn where to use past continuous tense or where not to use past continuous tense okay so you have got two examples that i have already told you in this very video lecture now i am going to give you some situations in which you can use past continuous tense the very first thing is that we use past continuous tense when we are in the middle of any action example we were driving home means you are in the mid of middle of the action of driving a car second use of this tense is that we use past continuous tense to describe background background of anything how we describe a background of anything for example if i say that i saw a dream i was sitting in a park 
the sun was shining the birds were singing here i am describing the background of my own dream the sun was shining the birds were singing so this is the background of my dream uh, you can say that if you are uh, uh, on a stage and you are describing the background you can also say that there was an actor he was performing his act and behind it some people were dancing okay so backgrounds of any things are described in past continuous tense if you have to describe these uh, backgrounds in past so you should prefer past continuous tense to describe the background of anything the third use a past continuous tense is very typical and a bit difficult if you understand it carefully so it will be very easy for you to pinpoint or to write past continuous tense so it is past continuous tense is also used with past indefinite tense when an action comes in the middle of an other action for example <clears throat> we were driving a car when a strange things appeared before us second example when laura was sitting in the park it began to rain so in the first action the action was continuous action was in the progress action was in the process it was not completed yet and other action started the first action is laura was sitting in the park first action and an other action comes into its mid that is it started rain so the first action should be written in past continuous tense and the second action you should write in past indefinite tense or simple past so these were the uses of past continuous tense means where you should use past continuous tense now i tell you where you should not use past continuous tense so here are some words you must note them down on your notebooks that cannot be used with past continuous tense if these words are used as a verb in any sentence you should not use past continuous tense so these verbs are be belong consist of contain depend upon deserve exist hate no love like matter mean own o w n own need prefer remember resemble seem and understand if these words come in your sentence as a main verb you should not use past continuous tense now i'll also share some exercises so these are some conditions in which you should use or not to use past continuous tense once again i am telling you that if you want to know the structure of this tense so you have to go to my old video on past continuous tense in which you will come to know you would come to know about the structure and uh, making and formation of past continuous tense so it was our today's lecture so remember me in your prayers allah hafiz pakistan zindabad